haven't been here for a while. Gross Point Art Center. It's a national exhibition called Embedded Light. All work done with the medium of encaustic. National Encaustic Show, Juror Chris McCauley. So, the thing about this work, you have to get a close up view of the works because the surfaces are all so different. Encaustic is such a great material. It's uh, very versatile. It can be abstract. It can be very realistic as we'll see. It can be sculptural. <laughs> Dimensional. Large, small. Very small. The colors are brilliant. Here's an overview of the entire gallery. It's kind of deceptive. The gallery is really big. There's a lot of stuff to see. It's kind of Jasper John influenced. That's how I first got into the encaustic myself because of Jasper John's flags and numbers, targets. Although back when I was in graduate school, when I first started using it in the late 70s, I didn't know of any textbooks on how to use this as a medium. So I got the Jasper Johns catalog and a magnifying glass and studied the surfaces of his paintings. Here's an example of how figurative you could be. It just takes a lot of time and manipulation of the medium. You have to have a hot palette. Most people who do encaustic invent their own um, methods of manipulating the different tools. I mean, you can go online and buy really expensive, I really like this one. You can get really expensive materials, hot plates, pallets, but for this I go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or sometimes even the dollar store to get pots and pans, hot plates, things to melt my wax. Now that's very dimensional. And so you can do it the way you we want, oh, we know this person. Hmm. And there's another one by the same artist. Hmm.
very familiar. I wonder who did those. I'm glad the sun's coming out. In fact, here's an example of an encaustic studio set up and materials. Now, those of you who have seen the videos of my studio know that, well, this is a gallery, but my place is not this neat. I'm glad I used the, here's the oil paint. I don't use the pigments because of breathing the stuff in. I don't use that thing either because propane torch because I have a, um, what is it, a phobia about flames. I do not have open flames in my studio. This is the sales gallery. Oh, here's some more. You can incise in the surface. You can offset printed material. You can stencil. I've been experimenting with the stencil lately. This is the way the kid sees an You can draw into it. It's really uh, accepting of pastels. Here's one that's very figurative. So just like with oil paint. Well, no, it's maybe, it's a lot more versatile than oil paint. This one, these two, they're absolutely polished, which is something you can do with the wax because, hey, after you Oh, you put wax on your table and you polish it. So these are artists from all around the country who have submitted works to this exhibition. There are workshops that take place all over too, especially sponsored by um RNF paints. Marco Mullen. There's so many artists, I'm not going to go through all of the names, but I'll list all of the artists. Oh, I don't want myself in. Really looking at melted areas, impostoed, dry brushed areas, and sized areas. This is Leslie, Leslie Sobel. She is from here. It looks like aerial views of maps. artist statement. I connect deeply with the outdoors. Did we get everything? I think so. Let's just go around. I got it. So this is the embedded light, which is what you can really do with encaustic at the Gross Point Art Center in Gross Point, Michigan.